travel to our delight to be here this morning. Stop to back to Sultan and here. I must say I'm very much happy to witness this very historic moment in the history, in the political history of Israeli, particularly in the Israeli People's Party. We are coming to elections. Election for the mayor of our municipality. The SNPP has chosen a candidate, and that candidate has decided that I cannot only run, but I'm going to tell Britonians, Sierra Leoneans, and the world at large what I intend to do for the people of Britain and the people of Sierra Leone. And that is put in a document which all of us here we have as reference documents to read and comprehend. And it's done so from the bottom of his heart. And it's done so because he believes he is able to achieve them. And it's done so because he knows there will not be empty promises. Since the establishment of the Britain municipality in 1893, the municipality of Britain came into the hands of the All People's Congress in 1967 when the Shepherd Stevens of the EPC won the Britain municipality. With the restoration of local government by the SNPP in 2004, the APC continued to win elections to the Britain municipality. From 2004 to 2008, 2008, 2004, 2012, onwards, the municipality has been under the administration of the All People's Congress. Look at the data we have today. Since 2004 to date, we've been in charge of the administration of data. Is this the data we want? No. Is this the data we want to continue to see? No. Don't you think it is time for us to come together as Sierra Union and as Britain to transform and fix Britain? If the answers to the questions are no, this is what the Britain wants, and the SNPP has presented a very clear answer in the person of one day to come out and respect As an SNPP government, five years ago, we run up to our elections. Our president, now then as leader of our party, had a very big dream for a very small country called Sierra After he won the election, he undertook a very ambitious program in the history of mankind. Many thought we were just dreaming and joking, and the big quality education was only for the past. Four years down the line, Today, Sri is regarded as a hub for transforming education. Four years down the line, we produced the world best minister in the person of the Boyd Masengo. Four years down the line, our president is sitting on a very high steering committee in the United Nations of Nigeria to speak and direct about education in the world. Our president achieved that. Four years down the line, our president dreamt of claiming our image at the international level. He told us that the Australian, which has been known for many negatives in so many years, will be a Australian that will be known for many positives. Four years down the line, we are proud to take out our passport and go very high here in our go. And as I speak to you, the United Nations is starting to the next review to the United Nations Security Council as a non parliament <laughs> All of these dreams are Israeli. So now the SNPP has taken a very deliberate, made, made a very deliberate effort to transform Britain, to fix the municipality of Britain alongside the Republic of Syria. All we are asking for is the opportunity of the tourists to give us that opportunity in the person of one day to come out and is able to our own very well. 
Don't forget to say, do the offline people to go back to some of the more. But we know we are strengthened. We are victorious. Many of us were born and raised in the city. Many of us had our education in the city. Many of us have married people from the crater and the super the crater. So we are one country, one people. We not get offline, we not get crater. We have one ceremony. Which is why we have one legend to Kamara and our own very reverend running side by side to lead the administration of the people of the municipality. So today, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Israeli People's Party, I want to welcome you all to this very, very appropriate event. We are not going to sit in any panels to see things that we will not be able to do. We are not going to speak about cable guys. We are talking about the very things that matter to us. We are talking about the waters. How are we going to clean the waters? How are we going to make sure that the market will be able to have toilets where you can go to where they are selling in the markets? How are we going to make sure that each and every home in Freetown has access to water? Those are the things that matter to the people of the city, and those are the things one day to Kamara has committed to do. And those are the things we believe and we know we can do once it's so the case is yours. Break down. Come June 23, June 24, 2023. Let us vote one night into tomorrow and let us come. I welcome you to this event and on capacity as Secretary General of the People's of the Israeli People's Party, because we have the leader of the party, His Excellency Julius Maradu, the Transformer, the great leader. And our chairman of the party, I want to officially welcome you to this program and I wish us all well and all the best. And on the 24th of June, we'll call you again to celebrate our day of municipality. And thank you all for your honor. God bless you all. Thank you, Secretary General, for passing the mic to my deputy chair. She is the deputy chair. So it's a moment for you all to decide. It's not just polite. And you write, you write that yes, in Sierra Leone, where the free quality education was launched, in the first year, 671,000 kids have access to it, classroom. Those are the things that the people need to know. Because those are the things that are not interested. When you write, let the world know, let the people understand that the Constitutional Review Committee recommended to the ABC that they should amend Section 9 to C to remove the word practicable so that education can be free from primary, secondary, and upward. But they rejected that recommendation. But without receiving that recommendation, Mr. Bio says, whether we receive practical or not, we are going to finance education. And on school, on examination of this law, Mr. Bio has spent 167 billion to pay examination fees. Do you know what that means? It means the President Bio was for six weeks ago, which cost the last government 124 million. It would have fixed three things to go. The, the main motor road at Sinai, and would have also done the 6.5 kilometer road in Gamma, Anga, and Gamma. And there will still be a remainder of about 12 billion. So when you invest, you invest in the right thing. And that is why we are investing in somebody who goes into radicals with the people who fix it. He who fixes it, you should expect me and become a big You should understand that. So, on that note, I want to call on the brother, another candidate, a very good candidate of the SRPP, a parliamentary candidate, someone who knows IT. The what I know is top. I don't know IT. He would excel as well. Not to talk of what. So I want to call on David Manley to present the campaign website of the mayor of the city. David, I will give you five minutes. Thank you, Honorable. Thank you, Mayor, and I'm delighted to get the mayor. Members of my National and regional executive, Minister, good afternoon. 
Ah, yes. Thank you for gracing this occasion. If I can direct your attention to the screen, for those of you who can see the screen, again, I'm David Manley, I'm the MP candidate for the Great Step of People's Party, and I'll be at Constituency 1 tonight. The very first thing that you see when you go to the website is the countdown timer. What that means, we're counting down to state house, we're counting down to council, we're counting down to getting all the seats that we can get in this next election. If that will keep you on your toes. It means this is the time we have to campaign. This is the time we have to deliver all that we say that we will do. So that's the very first thing you will see. And on top of that, you'll see that it's an all-inclusive website. There are tabs that you can get, whatever information you can get, but most importantly, if you want to join the team, there's an app for you as well. So that's essential. Next slide, please. The reason why we capture this slide is to show you our candidate here. That's one of the things that's clear on the website. He is making our job very, very easy when we do our door to door campaign. As you know, uh, his Excellency the President. I guided that we do dot dot campaigns. Anywhere you go, who will they or where will they see Because there's one thing that they did that changed the political landscape. When you want to go to a community, before you go there, they would have already sent the stuff to the community for the work that needs to be done. So when you see him, you're not voting for what he will do, but you're voting for a continuation of what he has already done. And you know he's not running by himself. We have his deputy who is wondering some of that is possible in the air, but everywhere. We have to capture your face as well and we'll go around in this campaign. It's right there. If there's one thing you can take away from this slide, is that it captures the Sierra People's Party identity. Talk and do. The very first thing that he says. He was put on this app to get things done. Means he delivers. He wants you to see that from the onset. Because you're going to judge him on what he has promised. But he's saying he's not just going to promise. Whatever he has said he will do, he has done, and he will continue to do. That's why we want to capture this. The reason why I'm running through this is because all of this information is captured in the website, and you can go there and get the full magnitude. Of course, some of we savvy, I'm going to call my savvy. You go savvy because you know savvy the intricate details of who he is and how he is there to help you. So there's also a page on the website that tells you who he is and what he stands for. Again, I'm not going to read the whole thing, I'm just going to let you know that it's there. Next slide, please. Thank you all for that. Um, the takeaway is there's a website that is fully contained. Um, we will fumble the account, they don't let transparency. We always the good thing they will make. So there's all the information that you want you can get on the website and you can also sign up and join the train because as we don't start so say after June 24, 2023, we will be matched to all the seats of governance. I'm much to be much to you. So thank you again for your attention. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you very much, David. And David has taught us that you should always have it in mind. And you should always know that is that is why you are called Jethro. Because what you say you do, you do. 
And in time like this, you see, when it was difficult and challenging for the people of Israel, when they were taken to the mountain of Massa and the river, they tried and tested God. They wanted to, they wanted to create cabins and worship them. But when Moses is up, in his anger, he was so angry that he went back to God to tell God that I'm going to abandon this assignment. God assured him, this that far, for you shall receive the salvation of the Lord. And if we are going to receive salvation in Peter, if Peter is going to change, I want to avoid the word transform. Because when you say transform, what you will get is you will meet a market that will perform that will that and will give me and will not finish it. That is what we get when we transform. When we say transform, you go to long me and you say that they are still selling on the street. You know, there was a time I tried clearly to say that for the Mark Church. And it was the mayor, the very mayor, uh, Emanuela. <laughs> it was the former mayor, Emanuela, that went there to bed the church so that they would sell and restore the church all this morning and every day. That is not going to happen because when we are going to fix this town, we are going to ensure that the market are accessible, they are confusing, they are open, they have toilets, they have good facility. And that is why the classroom. <laughs> and that is why we are going to return to the Golden of Fighting Fighter and I'm going to join the people of the Fighting Fighter. And they are not going to be able to do it. I'm 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 going to be able to do it. There's no other food. And he pulls it up by his side. Oh, you. Woo! Dancing, dancing, yeah. I'm going to dance with you. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Down to the best times. We down to the times of development. We have seen a lot of ABC in there. You know, it's like the history of Sierra Leone. When you calculate the total number of years that ABC has been in government, and you realize that the decadence and backwardness of Sierra Leone is principally as a result of ABC. Because when times were born in the 60s, it was Shaka City that was the governor. When times were born in the early 2000s, 2007, 8, 9, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, he said you are the fixers, and he brought you your mother bill, and we are fixing things. We have transformed things, and that is why we want to fix it out. And that is why President Bill has given 30% to live there. And on that note, I will call the beautiful wife of our mayor and Kindy, the mayor in waiting to produce our future. As the Mami de Cam, they are talking about side track, but I don't think that the man, the man will not be exposed. I mean, we want to be talking again about what I'm sure you'll tell me. Only man, I hope. You know, no, no, no. So the website is gentle number four, gentle for free town dot com. You see, dot com? We are present here, we are the biggest part of us. Thank you. Good afternoon, um, our mayor to be the national executive of the Serenade People's Party, 
and all respective members here present, Minister, Deputy Minister, the Deputy Mayor to be, the Board of State, and everyone here present. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I stand here with two important strength and perform this as a full time of bringing the tribute to the next leader of our party. First, how can I briefly introduce someone I know so deeply and so dearly? It is definitely a challenge to keep it brief. Second, how do I introduce a man who frankly meets what Introduction to the people of Britain. Yes. The man's name is the Haluba, not the Emperor of the city. Despite this challenge, I stand here today with all those plans to introduce you to a man that has inspired a huge chunk of ceremony with hopes that transcend the usual political and cultural norms in the polity of the Western urban municipality. I stand here today to introduce the son of the city of Freetown. The name gentle in Freetown goes beyond a mere name. It is a brand, a brand now metaphors, metamorphosed into a movie. The name gentle is a symbol of success that resonates with the struggle of the ordinary man. The name gentle has not only succeeded in business, but also succeeded in breaking the stereotypes, transcending the imagination of the average Serenian and the business domain of this country. But that is just one aspect about this man. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here today to introduce the founder and owner of the Gentle Group a multi million dollar construction company with project footprint in not only Africa but also within the West African Association. I present to Sierra Leonean their very own song, Love and Reverb, across this municipality and beyond. Jensen is a man of the poor and the downstroke. Jensen is the father of society's region and the man for society's isolation. The man from the hood and ghetto. The man that stands in solidarity with women. He is the man of the people, selfless and worthy, and identifies with the gravity for the day. Born and raised in Freetown, a product of the municipal primary school and the famous Amadea Secondary School in the east end of Freetown and later proceeded to the United Kingdom, where he enrolled a Tokyo College of Construction. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a man that continues to play a major role in the development of serial infrastructure and has created thousands of jobs and economic opportunities for the young and the old. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no time to underscore gentle commitment to charity and non-governmental initiatives as he continues to donate millions of dollars to help improve people and society. As a wife to gentle, I have over the period of campaign seen how passionate and focused he is to provide the leadership for the rebuilding of Britain with the support of his people. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you my husband, mm -hmm. the father of my children, yes. the coolest of all men, yes. soft, sudden, and collected. Yes. This man's charm is beauty. Yes. His love for family is comparable. Yes. His commitment to free time is out of this world. Yes. So from Devil Hall to Alenta, yes. from Calabar Town to Wellington, from Portique to Brazil, from Shell 
to Kanike, Susan Bay, Magazine, Doctor, Mabela, Abacha, Frobe, Frobe, Dokoti, Wilbur Falls, Babalori, Lovely, Jumala, the leader of the area. I present to you the leader of the Free Town, Fix Free Town campaign, the man with the proven track record of success, a committed philanthropist, the man with skills and the vision to fix the problem of Free Town. No less a person, but my husband, Mr. Mohammed Jensen. My regional chairman and all party executives present, the fourth state, all ministers, and my mother. Thank you, thank you all. I welcome you all into this room because I'm here today to launch my manifesto. My manifesto is from my heart. And I know it resonates with my return of the people. We've been suffering for long in this city. The pains and legs. It's sometimes painful when we walk down the streets of Cape Town, from eastern to western, there's sometimes certain incidents that will not only touch you, but let you run tears. We have to be strong to fix this problem. These are very passionate problems, and these are sometimes very, very much emotional. When I talk about my manifesto, I want you to understand it comes from pain, or it comes from a heart that is crying because we've been suffering for years. Like I said the other day, it's like we've been living in free town like slaves. And this time around, we have to debate ourselves. And the only way we're going to do it is through the ballot box to vote for the right person. And the right person is here, Mohammed Jensen. Come on. I will go straight to my manifesto and start with my pillars, as you can see on the screen, my motivation. I was motivated and I inspired myself to just be to this race because of mainly what happened August 8, 9, and 10. August 8, 9, and 10 showed us clearly that Free Town and Sierra Leone in general is going down the drain. And if some of us who are strong enough mentally and physically yeah, would not stand up to face this battle to change and break to our the my brothers will go back to war and that will be a tribal war. To start that point, or starting from that point, that's why for the first day I started with my aspiration to become the mayor of Free Town, I said let's break tribalism. And we have to break tribalism. The first step of breaking tribalism is the square time convention to say this position is only meant for one tribe, which is not so. For respect for all and for respect for free tolerance, that's what you could clearly see. I choose a creative man as my very very That should be yeah, the for inclusive. Mohammed Jensen is the man to fix this problem. Mohammed Jensen knows it. We all know the saying, who fixes it knows it. Mohammed Jensen has gone through it. I know what it means. I have family members. I have to wake up every day, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. to go and fetch water. And most of them are girls, age of 13, 14. They're very vulnerable. What happened with an act? It's a pain for those young girls. Remember, waking up 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning and still yet they have to go to school 
8 a.m. in the morning. But I don't want to go through that. So all of us have to come together this time and fix the problem, which is mainly water is life. Let us give life to these young children that have to go to school. Let us give life back to ourselves. Let us remember the old days. When? And you know, like my man, Oya Bitawa, just asked for the music, that's it, that's it. The president, the most people were Twitter. These are days when Twitter was Twitter, the sanitary officers, health inspectors. We have busted areas in most junctions and high streets, and Twitter was clean. Let me tell you about my running mate. My running mate is a creative man. My running mate is a reverend and a school teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to bring him up and introduce. My other mates, we're doing this together. Diversity. One county, one people, one, people, one country. For sure, the Creole and the countryman ready to be built three times. So I will allow my deputy mayor to be to say some more. Thank you, my boss, the mayor of Vita. <laughs> to the chair, the Secretary General of the party, the Western Union chair, and all of the poor. We are here this afternoon to launch our manifesto. I am the boss. We are here with our wife to show that we are the family of men. And we are responsible to do so. As my boss earlier said, the crew and time. The profession is a minister of religion, of a Christian religion. I'm a counselor also, and I'm a life coach. Many times people feel, my type men, they feel as if free town belongs to the fields. Yes, this place was leased to us some years ago. And because it was leased for the field, it was not bought for the fields, it was leased for the fields. Many times we need to do our full investigation so that we'll be able to talk to people and say to them the correct things. Because most of the time we put, we put politics in our thoughts and in our words. It brings us to the level of which we are not one people and one country again. But I want to say to the people of Freetown that no matter the situation, when this place was the least for us, we met the Japanese, we met the Limbas, and we are there. We met the Chinese, we are also here. And you know the beautiful part of it? We took their children and we trained them. And they become doctors and lawyers. They become people of good standard in the society. So how can we say that the town is for only the fields? Even somebody that you have taken care of for many years, you gave them your land, you gave them part of your wealth. Some of our people, we give all of our wealth to them because they serve us, they serve us diligently in those days. And so, I want to say to my tribesmen and to the Italians, no matter the situation, we must leave our southern unions because Vita belongs to all of us. And all of us, we must leave 
amicably in peace in detail. There is life after politics, but let us remember that we are all fair unions and we should move forward as fair unions. Thank you. 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 It's a blessing to be part of the one country, one people, one people one and we're showing that every day. We want to unify this country. We want everybody to belong. Free town is for all of them. Ladies and gentlemen, I take you to my number festival. As you can see right on the screen, my key project together with my deputy mayor, the team, and with the new direction, we are ready to fix the water problem in Cape Town. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of write ups, there's a lot of theories about the water situation in Cape Town. But me being a construction man, I know the practical way to fix this problem is by using the water catchment area. Most mountains around Peter municipality owns a water catchment. Most of these water catchments, or almost all of them, run through January to December and still get the story for water. Every August, the Mavali of um, number two river will overflow and then will still cry for water. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth is here. Mohammed Jeto is ready to leave, but I will not be able to do it alone. We all have to do it together. We have to start this very first step. But every Victorian to see that this is the need and we all have to campaign for Mohammed Jento Kamara and let Mohammed Jento Kamara win the mayoral seat and then Mohammed Jento Kamara will fix the problem for water. Water problem in Sierra Leone or Freetown in particular is a headache for all. When we're going to do the water catchment, we're going to enact the water catchment. In most areas, we have to run pipe up from the mountain because we are blessed to have a topography of Freetown with mountain up and then runs down to the sea part where we can do our pipe, um, we can run our pipes down and then collect from those pipes, supply them to houses. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not an easy task. People might say, one agenda is saying this easily, is going to fix the water problem. It's not as easy, yes, I know that. But I know I'm ready and I'm determined to do so. And trust me, I am going to do so. This is not only a promise, but it is a commitment that I'm committed to and I'll, I'm committed to and I'm obliged to fix because I'm going through the struggle. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitter, I need your vote. And with your vote, I will fix this water problem. If we go to the next part from water, it's sanitation where I'm ready to clean Twitter. We all again have to do it together. Again, it's not going to be easy, but Mohammed Jento Kamara is determined to do so. How are we going to do this? We know our past mayors, you know, they're not I don't want to go personal, let me do that. But what I would say is, we don't have those areas anymore. 
most of our collection points are gone. They have, they have direct houses now. So we first of all have to identify garbage collection points. And we have to make sure that these waste are collected properly and take them to a proper dump site. With that, we will have to relocate our dump site from the PC and the other one at Kinton to a more appropriate area where our people will enjoy that benefit by getting electricity supply from our waste. Most of our waste in Freetown most of our waste in Freetown is organic waste. What does that mean? It's very good for energy. We are going to make use of it. In Freetown today, almost all of our marketplaces, there is no toilet. Our mothers and sisters, mostly the market traders, are living in these markets, doing business in these market areas like slaves. No water supply, no toilet facility. Poor market area is not conducive for anyone at all. What are we going to do? One agent is going to make sure that we build these markets and let them have a conducive market area by providing the toilet area for them. And also, most importantly, to make sure these women have micro credits, and that takes me to the next part of my um, manifest jobs for all. Jobs for all, we have to know that most of our people in Peter are illiterate. How are we going to pay the for them? That's why most of them are engaged in particularly and other SME businesses. Micro credit system will be very, very important for these unlocated people so that they also enjoy the benefits of having job opportunities to take care of their family. We also have to look at business registration in our municipality. I will come up with policies that will create incentives for businesses to grow. How are we going to do that? We are going to make sure we have regular town hall meetings. We understand the problems with the companies and the small businesses that are coming up. We know what they need and we will help them to pay finances through um, the commercial bank. Because our problem today is most people are ready to do business, but they don't have the access to finance. And that means the municipal will come up with a municipal bond that will work with the commercial banks to make sure these things are possible. Employment is needed. This is why managing to say there is our incentive to encourage people and let them believe that what happened to Mohammed Jeto and have succeeded to get to this point. And the, one of the reasons that get me to this point is integrity. To do business, you have to be credible. We have to let our business people understand that. It's not about getting the loan and run away with the money or getting access to the loan and then it's used the finances or then all what other people will say a politics money. It's not going to be a politics money. We're going to take it from the back. However, we're going to start as a collateral for these business people so that they can strive. Now we're going to come out presently employ over 800 staff and about 200 to 300 are casual. So it's over 1,100 people working for Gentle Group. I know Freetown is congested now. 
And what I'm working on presently on the private side is to have a company. It's a blessing, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen is presently working on a project that will employ over 15,000 people outside Twitter. As we all know, Sierra Leone is blessed. We are sitting right at the Atlantic Ocean. Gentlemen currently identified an area around tent that will give us a port with a depth of about 20 meter drop. What does that mean? That will be the deepest sea port in Africa. Today, the deepest sea port in Africa is in Morocco. And you can Google it and find out the income quarterly is about 1.6 billion dollars. The quarterly income. And with that, they only have 80 meter drop. What gentleman is going to do is a drop of 20 meter depth. With our location right on the Atlantic, we believe. And we know that that will bring to this country about 500 million dollars to the government every year. 500 million dollars, sorry. 500 million dollars every year to the government of Syria. And that, I'll tell you for sure, will change this economy and change this country. Public spaces. No. When I look at my mother, I remember when I was a child, my mother was a poor nurse. I know the struggles that she went through. Today, we have nurses in Freetown, but believe me, it is not good for them. And it's not good for them because all their body is left with the central government. I don't believe it should be so. I believe the Freetown City Council should take charge and get into these hospitals and control the estate and management of every hospital in the municipality. When you go to our school, um, from the PCMH hospital, no, no. <laughs> Stop it. Um, we all see what is going on at uh, what is called uh, Connors Hospital. But all of this is because the central government is overburdened. Let us be honest about this. We have to have the council to get into this hospital and take care of the estate management and let the professional heads, the medical doctors, do their medical duties. So then, if you go to the mortuaries, go. It's not a story to take home. We all have to fix these problems together. Mohamed Jento is going to collaborate with the Ministry of Health and let the Minister of Health and all other stakeholders and owners understand that Spiritual City Council will be a partner in managing these hospitals. We also have to look at our recreational areas. Today, we go to Eastern from Abu School, Kalbata, Parade Ground, Atuga Stadium, Kito. Modern day today, our professional footballers are playing football on their bare floor. This is not right for a modern day, you know, in any country. We're going to fix this football fields. We're going to have artificial top green fields and also make use of these areas to have chips, turn them to proper recreational area 
So you will wake up in the morning and walk into that field and have the gym equipment to do or conduct your exercise or walk around the field so that you will have healthy, healthy life. Ladies and gentlemen, my manager is a quiet man. I don't like talking, but each job I have to talk. Yes. I'm a very poor speaker, so don't mind me, but I have to do this because I have to let people understand what all this is about. I want you all to know that my manifesto is very simple. It's simple, very simple, simplicity, very, very simple and managing to itself. You will be able to read it and understand more. I don't want to keep you up here. I want you to understand that G24 is around the corner. The website is up. The manifesto is out. Read it and understand it. I am not a good speaker. I'm a man of action. I want to work for you. And I want to do the right thing for you. And please allow me to do the job for you. Thank you, thank you. Into the ABC or knowing 
to come back home and know yes that the existing father that is twice more than your father that is ready to provide leadership and fatherhood. For that note, you know me, I'm, you know since the program started, I'm going to lose myself. Okay, okay. okay, we are in content tower. No, I am honorable Ibrahim Tower content. Former member of parliament for constituency 132. Candidate number one for the stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> that is for the stereotypes. That is That is So you see, if you just like to leave myself. Somebody has reminded me, say, oh, they are going to help you, in a member of the In fact, by default, when the chairman was announced, I was the second person that was chosen, so I am the deputy chairman. We are going to tell that person as well, say, oh, they are very busy. So on that note, we want the manifesto. Now, we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. And that too much, and that much, and that much, and that much. And now another woman, powerful one, to so officially launch the manifesto and the website. Ladies and gentlemen, please I am as I invite Ambassador Dr. Kona Kuma. Dr. Kona Kuma, I want to live right now. The people's mama. You know, I pray when I can go out and go and see the mic. She will not tell me that I parked my car in her house when I was chased by the APC. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, God. 
I learned a long time ago that all those that are part of the gentle group. <laughs> so the girls are like this. And my friend and compatriot, what is the one? Pure inside, pure in SLPP? Pure inside SLPP. My office in the state house, they are home. They come and call, they want an appointment. Yes. But when the reverend of Atobo, and of course, it takes a good wife to manage a letter. I know their time. And that is compounded with politics. But don't worry, God will help you. And the gentle, and the uh, only you said to her that gentle was available to start the product. Ask the mom. Is she pretty? Yes. Is she available? Yes. Please stand. Can you stand? Okay, now tell me what I can do. And uh, at this ceremony, we highlight the liberal steps that this party has taken. The youngest sex in general ever in the history of this country comes from this party. <laughs> By the special grace of God, he happens to be my son. One of your sons. Education and he did it. You are stepping in his 
to you are walking in his journey. And I know you are going to do everything that you have said. Not all, but most of it. You will do. Yes. There's faith. And I live with this adage here. As I speak to the audience, I speak to you. I'm reminded by these brilliant words that fortitude helps face challenges with faith and determination. And you have all this. You have our blessings. And you have our prayers. You will make it anyway. Change has come to be done, whether we like it or not. Amen. We are going to have a new layer. Amen. Whether we like it or not. Brother, you have said it and God has stamped your feet. And the population will only follow. And there's a man of God to speak into all of this. Yes. Amen. Yes. As I launch, as I go about the launch of this deliberate. Dearly manifesto. But that's what you have done all your life. Yes? You dearly into construction. You came with an international company. And you took over. And nobody is aware that Gento was Gento, Gento Group was managed years by by, by an international Italian company. Because fast you learned. Fast you do and you took over the job. Yes, this is the man we are talking about. So, let me press take the news away. And he's telling you to do so, 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 and so. And believe you, he has a track record that he succeeds in whatever he ventures into. And politics will not be an exception. Yes, yes he's going to be a great politician. And he has, he has the support of our leader. The talk has been president. Uh, the, the talk and the talk and the mail. You Peter needed a one who can construct. Peter defies transformation. All of those teachers, did they work? No. no. Now we have a construction man who says, I'm going to reconstruct Peter. And I believe you will do it. And I want all of you to believe. This is the message. I want to add my voice to this media. And so, before you turn, his team, who put this man, who helped me put this man in special together, a great team, led by another term, Siba. And I get a problem all the time when I call on people and say Siba. Then I looked in my book today and I saw Chernobyl. I said, oh, Chernobyl is the one they are talking about. I already we started with the launch for the content. It's a great job. Yes. And all these wonderful people. What are going to say? You are so important. And that is what the, the new mayor sees in you. That you are the ones he has called to tell the story. And I know you will do, do it here and do our part in here. Yes, with these few remarks. <laughs>
Before all of you to launch this manifesto titled Vote Gentle. Okay, it down. Vote gentle for me all is the message. Mothers 
SLPP, SLPP, very recently, we got launch, we manifest. For sure, say, we get, we did, we want to do business. Not so that they don't put away to their own business, now they get the profit too. We don't see the money, we don't see profit. But this one, His Excellency the President, they lead the way for good business for Salon, when a Salon will forget the benefits. Now so, Mr. Mohammed Jento Kamar, the mayor in waiting, they do the business when a free town they forget the benefits. Clearly, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know for you, for me, I mean sitting there, I can sense the passion, and I sense the passion and the seriousness in Mohammed Jento Kamara with this in manifesto, what he don't put. And I can tell you, from the local government perspective, because I'm a ministry that directly supervise the local council. The, the ministry that I directly supervise the local council. The, five, the past five years for the Freedom City Council, ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to, to go over everything that happened there. You will bear the testimony because the, in, in, everything is out there for you to see that it has been wrong. There has been no good time for us here in the Ministry of Local Government. Everywhere the, 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 the government, the leadership of His Excellency, and every one of us tries to work with the then mail. It was all effort in totality. But I want to join His Excellency the President and the leadership of the SLPC party to congratulate our mayor in the waiting for this work that he has put together. I mean, when you want to be serious or when you want to know that somebody is serious, you just need to be like a plan. The plan of Gento as the mayor and his deputy is waiting. It's very clear, simple.